Howdy folks, how's it diddling? In this video, we're going to be exploring how rusty the Suzuki Wagon R is. And, um, yeah, hope you uh, like rust, because this thing has got a lot of it. Deep joys. How much rust? All of it. All right, so here's purple slurple in all its purpleness. Now, let's check out this sill. So this is the, the driver's side, the drinker's side of the sill. And as you can see, there's not much left. So that's the, the inner part of the sill as the transit goes by. Inner part of the sill. The strengthening part of the sill, which uh, for all intents and purposes isn't doing a lot. And as you can see, isn't attached to much. And the worst is at the back here, so it is, uh, you know, I can move this all with my, my hand and uh, yeah, it's, it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. <laughs> So if we go up here, unfortunately, that's the, what I can feel there is carpet. Where my, my thumb is, is poking. Just in there, that's carpet. That's, uh, yeah. Now you can see there's a lot of moisture here and it looks wet. Well, it's been about three days since we've had some rain. So clearly the moisture is just absolutely horrid. Now you're probably thinking, what's the point, Dave? Just scrap it, you know, shouldn't have bought it back. Well, when was the last time you saw a purple Suzuki wagon? I'll wait, write down in the comments. If you happen to got, if you happen to own one that's that's great but this side is pretty much pooched and this was a lot of this was just fiberglass uh, but uh, here's not too bad uh, this will need straightening out yeah yeah more rust but you can see that uh, there's a bit on this wing but luckily that's solid. Now I have got an outer arch for this, which I'll uh, I'll show you in a minute when I get back home. But yeah, so let me show you the other side, and it doesn't seem to be as bad. I'll get the old screwdriver and we'll do a stabby stabby pokey pokey test. All right, access is a bit tight because it's parked up against this wall, but this sill, I'm, I'm giving it some and it doesn't seem too bad. Like I say, it's, uh, I don't believe this one is, Like I see, it's, it's a bit wet around here and a bit dark, but this sill seems to be, I want to say solid, but I don't want to jinx myself. Oh, I think some, oh yeah, we found a hole. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> that That's, uh. That's just the patch that's been plopped in. Oh yeah. This side's been crudely, uh, oh, that's fiberglass, that is. Nice. Oh, that's not even attached here. I can get my fingers under there. So what they've done is kind of patched it and instead of welding the, the edge down here, near where my finger is here, they've just, um, 
Oh, that was part of the inner seal. Yep, yep. Right. Mm. Yeah. So, by the feel of it, it is... Uh, she's all got bits of fibreglass in her. Which is okay for a period of time. But... Uh, Yeah. Hmm. That's going to be fun. So it's going to need that seal doing as much as the other side. Bit of progress on the battery. So someone, when it was parked up, uh, not in my ownership, in uh, my friend who was going to scrap it, they uh, cut the batteries off. The battery connector so this was missing i bought this from uh, a local scrapyard i've uh, stripped these back so that's for the negative side to there and i've actually managed to get uh, the cables with the connectors from a car in looms and it was i think it's a mark 4 suzuki alto so it uses the same small battery clamps uh the japanese style and uh i got this as well with another bar, so uh, just waiting on some copper tubing in order to slip these on and connect the battery connectors back up. But, yeah, you know, she's, she's got oil. It's not, not the cleanest and it smells a bit. But as soon as we get the... Uh, the battery fitted, be able to uh, hopefully fire into life, which will be the first time in over a year. You can see here, all oh, this is solid. And it's not too bad. It's just, uh, unfortunately, the, the seals have been badly repaired with fiberglass and obviously I'll have to clean all this out. That's not gonna do the, you know, all the channels and everything. But apart from that, it uh, could be a lot worse. Get some of this crap out of the out the vents. So yeah, not bad. Could be a lot worse, but I know that it's going to need. So it's going to need. Inner sill, strengthening sill, and the outer sill. Well, I've got the outer sill at home. Like I say, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, and I've got the steel in order to repair that. It does mean, though, because it's got the hole, means I'm going to have to take the seat out and the carpet. Um, yeah. So, quickly take that panel out, and it just pops off. You can see daylight through these holes. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to be able to do that. If we uh, carefully peel away the carpet, and this is this is where I'm going to get the shock of my life and find out the whole thing is bloody ruined. And uh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, there we go. Can you see the the rust hole? Uh, started to go there I'll have to move this bit of fibre but yeah so it's gone into the, the inner sill of the car not meant to not meant to be able to do that and it's starting to go along this edge so yeah it's going to be a seat out and seat out, carpet out, front and rear, all the plastic trim out in order to make sure that the carpet doesn't actually feel damp, which is uh, surprising. Uh, what's it like there? Oh, she's all right there. It's all right under the accelerator pedal, so yeah, just the sill, so it's probably gone the other side. But uh, like I say, we'll get it sorted.
Right, so here's the, the sill that I was on about. Just go through this bush and... Uh, So this is the outer sill for the Suzuki. Just move the uh, the beetle wing out the way. There we go. So as you can tell, I've kept it uh, in fantastic condition. <laughs> Jokes. If we uh, oh, even the brambles have got hold of it. There we go. So this has been a panel that has been sat outside for about uh, a year now since I last sold the car. You can see it's got that edge. It's a bit twisted from uh, from poor shipping, but uh, I'll bend that back. But uh, ultimately, it is a complete sill. So this will... Uh, do nicely obviously there's a, a cut there that uh, they did when they manufacture this so that will need a bit of uh, welding through through there that will just be welded up but the reason this hasn't rusted or rusted or rotted away um, with being sat outside for a year is mainly because it's been it's got a coating on it to protect it to stop it from rusting uh, and it's done a really good job so but uh, when i do fit it onto the vehicle uh, this will be a good template actually to help me get a uh, reference point in regards to the inner sill and the strengthening sill and again what i'm going to do a bit like what i'm doing with the clio uh, is that i'll make that completely at the front and at the rear uh the strengthening steel and that will be made out of 1.5 mil steel and the rest of it either 0.8 or uh one mil steel so yeah so these are some other bits from old projects that's from a an old beetle that i had that had the what's known as the elephant these are known as elephant rear lights and i'm not really clean on them I and mean, it was a 1200 just so that was the wrong lights for it so i've got that and then if anyone knows what that is in the background there that's a Mark II front wing, Mark II Golf, that uh, I bought many years ago. Um, it was a J-plate, Mark II, uh, last of the line. Turned out to be an absolute rotten pair. Uh, and you're probably thinking, well, it can't be as bad as the Clio or, or Purple Slurple. No, it was worse. The, the floors were completely rotted out and patched with uh, absolute grot. So yeah, so that's that. So uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> so there we go, there's the complete seal. Just need to uh, order the uh, other side in order to get that uh, sorted. So there we go, folks, just a quick video on to show how much rust is on the Suzuki wagon, AKA Purple Slurple. It's gonna need both seals doing, both inner seals and also the entire interior has got to come out in order to be able to weld them bits because last thing you want to do is start welding on it and uh, the heat from the welding sets fire to the carpet and pff, then the whole car goes up in flames that's uh, that's no bueno and i've seen it happen to quite a few people that have done welding think i'll be right i'll get away with it and uh, yeah the car's burnt to the ground so if you like this kind of video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down it's entirely up to you uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. You can also check me out on Instagram and uh, Twitter, which is formerly X, and also, uh, what else was there? TikTok. So, until the next time, folks, have a good one, and remember, Daddy Bar. Mm -hmm.